From that point, the only thing standing in the way of real success, of having our dreams come true, was ourselves. I don't really like lessons learned type lectures, but there have been a few along the way. And on this special occasion, I can't help myself. Indulge me, I'll not be doing this again. Now that you have graduated, the goal should not be to seek a job or even a career, but to seek a calling. That search has just begun. In your time here, you've probably gone through 50 or 100 different case studies. And in the years ahead, you'll probably go through thousands more. Those case studies are not about decision making, not even about judgment. They're about a search for wisdom. I have in my travels occasionally met promising young people who insist they are not going to ask for help along the way. They want to figure it out themselves. Mine was the opposite approach. It is hard enough out there. Get all the help you can. Getting help really is just a part of a lifelong search for wisdom. And don't be afraid to come back to the school that spawned you. Frank Schellenberger always raised my spirits when, when I was feeling low and wanted to get a hold of him. Bob Davis and Mike Spence each spent 10 years on the Nike Board of Directors. And there are a couple other lessons. Two nines working together will beat two tens working for their own careers every time. Ability and desire must always trump money and power. If you can't get financing, don't be afraid to go 7,000 miles from home. Government is part of business, any business. There is such a thing as managing creativity and dare to take chances, lest you leave your talent buried in the ground. And where there is no struggle, there can be no art. And finally, there is this thought. 10 years from now, the first of you will be asked to give the commencement speech to what will then be the finest class in the school's history. You'll be a bit torn. You are multitasked to the max. Two kids, one has an ear infection and needs to get to the doctor right away. Your husband is more needy than usual and he has a flight in the morning to Europe for 10 days. Your company is at a critical point in strategic planning and everybody looks to you for what the answers will be. Plus the company has a PR crisis and you have a TV appearances scheduled for five days straight. And that golden lab you had for two years has all of a sudden decided it's not housebroken. <laughs> there is no time. There is no time. And then you'll accept. Because of the honor, because of the chance to have some influence on the most able, best prepared young people on the planet. And you will accept, though it is hard to see now, because there is a part of you that longs to go back to a place and a time and a self forever gone and looking for things to say, include in your consideration moments from the school's history. You might even look back to that time from the deep past, that moment over six decades before, when Frank Schellenberger, beloved professor of entrepreneurship, said the words that meant so much to me, the words that became the mantra for his class, the words that said, the only time you must not fail is the last time you try.